Welcome everyone. In this session, I will talk about how to decide the tolerance value on any part. So I will consider this example. Suppose this is an assembly and let's say this is x axis, this is y axis and we have a pin here of let's say 10 mm diameter and this hole is 50 mm from the y axis. This length is 50 mm and 25 mm from the x axis. And we have a cuboid here. Let's say its length is 100 mm and height is 50 mm. And we have a hole here which is 15 mm in diameter. And the hole is 25 mm from this edge and 50 mm from this edge. Let's draw this in 2D view. So this is our cuboid here. This is a 15 mm hole, which is 50 mm from this edge and 25 mm from this edge. Now this cuboid has to rest on this assembly here. And we now have to define what tolerance value can we give on these dimensions such that this hole will always clear this pin. That is this hole will never interfere in the pin and we will have a good assembly. So let's draw it again. This is our assembly and this is the pin of 10 mm dia and the cuboid will sit in this assembly like this one and it will clear this pin. Now obviously during manufacturing we will not have an exact 50 dimension of this hole and this hole can come somewhere between here and this hole can deviate from this 50 mm dimension and can interfere with this pin. So we need to define some tolerance on 50 and 25 mm such that this hole will always clear this pin. So how to decide that dimension? So the hole diameter is 15 mm, the pin diameter is 10 mm and we have a difference of 5 mm that is 15 minus 10. So this is the gap here. So this gap, if I add this gap and this gap, this will come in as 5 mm and similarly in the y axis, this gap here plus this gap this will also come as 5 mm, 5 mm. So I can divide this 5 mm by 2. So this edge here will be 2.5 mm in length. That is, we now have a tolerance range of 2.5 into the positive axis, 2.5 into the negative axis, and similarly 2.5 into the positive y axis and 2.5 into the negative y axis. So this is the tolerance range which we have here. And this is the tolerance range 5 mm and 5 mm. If the center of the hole lies within this tolerance range, then we can say that this hole will always clear the pin. Now let us simulate this situation in computer to check whether we are right or wrong. So this is our part with 15 mm hole here. And this is our assembly in which 10 mm dia pin is there. And now this part has to clear this pin. So we discussed how much dimension we should give from this axis to the center point of the hole and how much the hole can deviate from the from these axes. And we came up with this tolerance zone of 5 mm. That means if the center of the hole will lie within this tolerance, this will always clear the pin. That is what we discussed a few while back. And now we will try to prove it. So now I will move this hole within this tolerance zone and let us see if this clears this pin or not. So now I will move this hole into x axis and you can see that the center of the hole lies within the tolerance zone and it is clearing this pin here. Now I will move this hole into the y axis. In the, into positive y axis it is clearing the pin and if I move this hole into the negative 2.5 mm and we are within our tolerance range and the hole is clearing this pin. But what happens when this hole is 2.5 off into the y direction and at the same time it is off by 2.5 into the x direction. Now you see that although the center is lying within the tolerance what we defined here, but it is not clearing the pin here. So this is one of the another drawback with plus and minus tolerancing and we will try to remove such conflicts in GDNT. So instead of putting plus and minus tolerance on these dimensions, what we will do is we will define a tolerance on the hole itself. So we will keep these dimensions as basic dimensions 
and we will define our feature control on this hole here. So in our next session, we will see how with the help of GDNT, we can solve such type of conflicts.